Well, let's talk about the future. Let's talk about the exciting stuff, right? So, so we've made some changes for patients. We've been able to now sequence treatments in the metastatic setting. We've got more options in the neoadjuvant setting. But what's gonna what's gonna really break through for us for pancreas cancer? Where are some of these new hot, sexy treatments? Immunotherapy, the sexiest of all treatments. So I will turn to the sexiest of all panelists. That is it. John Marshall. I, I know who you're talking about now. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about immunotherapy for patients. Someone with described cancer. me today as very gray. So anyway, that that really made me feel good. I said something bad back to them. Um, so I wish I had a s exciting story to tell you um, in this space. Um, we are continued to be frustrated with even no subgroup coming out of this patient base. I mean, in almost every other GI cancer, we've found patients responding, some subgroup responding. Um, but we really have not yet seen this. Um, uh, little bits here and there, an occasional benefit, but nothing that's a, a steady drumbeat. So we're pretty sure that there'll be something, but how, what's the problem? Are they not immunogenic? Is it the stromal, you know, core that's keeping any T cell from ever even getting there? Um, uh, so a physical uh, problem. Um, uh, are there, you know, we talked earlier about not understanding the genetics. It's always the same mutations in all these, and so maybe they're not making the neoantigens that we need to make and uh, that we've seen in other cancers. So uh, this does not mean give up, but I will have to say, even through this meeting and others, is that I don't see a lot of new projects either uh, while people are learning. Um, there's some out there. Um, but at least for now, um, we need to keep working on it. I mean, our work is around vaccines and trying to drive uh, the immune system up now that we have these uh, checkpoint kind of approaches. Um, but I, so I think it's still very important for us to study in this space. Mm -hmm. um, back to getting more tissue, understanding the biology better will help, um, I think. Um, uh, but um, my, I, for me at least, and I'd love to hear what others have to say, I haven't really seen anything that wows me yet. Yeah, so outside of the incredibly rare microsatellite instable right. patient that you may find on your, on your hunt, um, but, but the immunotherapies, anybody has heard of any promising immunotherapies for pancreas? Well, I think it's pretty clear it's not the, the single agent strategy. That's not, not for pancreas cancer patients, but there's still some optimism that we can figure this out, mm. at least for a subset, and it's clearly going to be combination-based approaches. I think building on chemotherapy, because we know that works in this disease, maybe in pancreas cancer, that's something that we need to understand the pros and cons of, and maybe different settings, right? Maybe it's a maintenance approach, maybe it's post-adjuvant, maybe it's after uh, debulking in locally advanced disease. I don't know. I look forward to seeing some of the trials. We've participated in the frontline JIB napapcotaxel plus a checkpoint inhibitor. Mm -hmm. And we were all very excited because lots of uh, tumor marker responses, lots of clinical responses. But what we've, I've not yet seen, in at least our group, is that durable response. And so they're getting there, they're having more responses, but they're turning it four, five, six months, just like you would expect with traditional chemotherapy. So I'd like to see the data set as a whole uh, but we were optimistic there for a while, and we've kind of gotten a little less optimistic. How about uh, Kobe Metinib? So, <laughs> hey, well, let me tell you a little bit about Kobe Metinib. And, and what George is alluding to is, is the data from colon cancer, where you use a MEK inhibitor, which blocks mm. the RAS pathway, um, in combination with a checkpoint inhibitor. And certainly, that is very, uh, it would be the next logical thing to go to. I might have heard that there may be somebody that's <laughs> thinking about studying that. It's open. Um, for, it's oh, okay. Open. It's <laughs> open. For it's happening. Pancreas cancer. Yes. Um, and, I, and I think, you know, much, uh, you guys have all alluded to it, it's going to be the combination therapies. Mm. There's a lot of new immune targets that are coming, and I've heard little whispers about other things that are coming, and then there's one agent that's an IL-2 agonist to try to bring T cells in that I think is about to move into a randomized chemo combination study. But, but I think for the practicing oncologist out there whose patient comes in and says, I want that what Jimmy Carter had, because mm. we have this all the time, it's really hard to explain to them that's probably not the right thing to do. Let's try something else yeah. along the way.